endometriosis tissue grows in response to estrogen during the first half of the menstrual cycle and remains stable until you get your period. In people with endometriosis, during your period, endometriosis tissue breaks down and bleeds, similar to the lining of the uterus. Unlike the lining of the uterus, which leaves the body during your period, endometriosis tissue remains inside and it may trigger an inflammatory reaction. The immune system responds by releasing molecules which can cause irritation of the surrounding pelvic tissues, including the nerves. When this process is repeated, new blood vessels form, which helps endometriosis grow again. New nerves may become sensitive and scar tissue can develop. This can cause substantial period pain and bloating. These recurring episodes of pain may alter nerve centres in the spine and can cause back pain. Bladder pain, bowel pain and painful sex can be symptoms that the pelvic organs and tissues have become highly sensitive as a result of frequent pain. Sensitisation can affect the pelvic floor muscles that contract and tighten. When this happens, people with endometriosis often experience stabbing or shooting pelvic pain, back pain, pain down the sides of the abdomen or pain down into the thighs or legs. This pain can be disabling at times preventing many people from moving or functioning. Ultimately, when nerves become sensitive, pain centres in the brain can get activated and central nerve sensitisation may develop. As a result, people can experience tiredness, headaches, nausea and brain fog. Sometimes people may lose interest in activities they usually enjoy and can feel down or anxious. Although surgery removes endometriosis lesions, it doesn't resolve nerve sensitisation. Endozone aims to provide people with endometriosis with information and tools that will help them manage their disease.